So let's create a new pizza with uh, two calorie values. Um, so we are going to create a pizza here. So we call it two cal pizza. Right. the wrong button. I just spelled it out now. So two cal pizza and uh, uh, we are going to go to individuals and uh, select the two pizza and uh, this one is of type Let's just call it pizza, okay? And we have um, here in particular, and let's say that we add two of them, right? So let's call one of them 250, and we add one more, and we set that to. 50. Right. So that should make the ontology inconsistent. So let's just uh, try to run the reason on that. Okay, ontology is inconsistent, uh, which means that the our reasoner will not work properly okay and uh, here is the explanation we have these two cal pizza with two of these uh, values and uh, remember that we set the has calorific constant value to functional right so let's remove this again so I remove the to curl pizza, let's go backwards. Right, so I remove it here first. That's done. And I go to the classes. Oh, stop the reason. It's going haywire. Go to the classes and uh, remove the two curl pizza. And save. Now let's just start the reasoner to see that we don't have any issues, so it's okay. The red ones is uh, the introduced error from before, right? So that's this one. Let's go to next. So here we have to create um, a non-vegetarian pizza as a subclass of pizza and make it disjoint to vegetarian pizza. So we have under here, we have a new one, we call it um, pizza, non vegetarian pizza. There we go. And uh, this one is disjoint, so we we'll go down to disjoint in the description window and we select this joint with vegetarian pizza okay um, now we make it yeah so we make it this joint um, okay so that's it next one um, make vegetarian pizza the complement of vegetarian pizza okay so make sure that non-vegetarian is selected so non-vegetarian is selected 
and uh, we'll click on the edit circle for pizza so here that's the edit circle um, and uh, um, in the description view um, we can edit uh, uh, we can go in and edit it so we have pizza and then and uh, not vegetarian pizza oh. there we go so that's done here and save so add uh, pizza to the necessary um, and sufficient conditions for non-vegetarian pizza so uh, we select non-vegetarian pizza so that's done um, convert the class to define class so here we can right click and uh, convert setting the row to defined class that's it and it moves up to equivalent classes right good next one so we use the reason again so let's start the reasoner and go here we can see the non-vegetarian pizzas are here and So these are the meat pizza. You can see they have the topping with pepperoni, for example. All right. So we stop the reason. Go back. Right. And then next one: create a subclass of name pizza with a with a topping of mozzarella. So we can create unclosed pizza, right? Under name pizza. So we go to uh, name pizza. We create one that's called unclosed pizza, right? So we select unclosed pizza, and uh, has topping to be restricted some mozzarella topping right so here has topping some did I not spin it right Spell it right. No, it's, uh, uh, there we go. <coughs> That's it. So we have selected this and save. So, um, pizza. Remember that. Okay, so now we open the classifier again. That means the reasoner, and uh, did we forget something? So 
So this should be with mozzarella toppings. Let's just stop this one. So notice that unclosed pizza is either vegetarian pizza or non-vegetarian pizza. So we don't see that here, do we? Um, the question is if there's a step missing. Um, to do some. What if we make this two defined class? And run again, and open on the closed pizza. So we have these. So what we have to do here is to make sure that we remember. So I'm just going back here again to select the line right click and then convert um, the row to define class okay so that seemed to be missing in this exercise okay um, then uh, what else do we have here okay so create um, a class called country so we create a class called country, so that's on the top here, and call it country, and um, we go to the individual tab, so in here, and we add in uh, Italy. switch to the add individuals and we have added those select okay that was this one then we go ahead and create has value to uh, make the restrictions to specify that mozzarella topping uh, is Italian, right? So we go to object properties and uh, create a new object property and name it country of origin. So we go to object properties and Create a new one as country of origin. There we go. And we go to the class tab and we select mozzarella topping.
mozzarella topping and in the subclasses um, we type as country of our region enter so that's these ones and I guess um, uh, should we do it for more Let's go back to this one afterwards. I'm just going to check. Yeah, so for the other countries, we can add them afterwards. Let's just uh, see that we have this one done. Uh, so that follows just those exercises, and we can add on for the, the other type of pizzas uh, afterwards. Um, then uh, convert uh, the class country into an enumerated class. So uh, we switch to the class tab, that's done, and select class country, and uh, we, yeah. and then um, select equivalent class, so that this one comes up. And in the text box, um, we'll just add these values in. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I could. Right. So that's uh, like a uh, enumerated list. Um, then we press enter and. If we run the reasoner, uh, we get the list of countries, 